Have you ever seen DNA? Like literally? Today in this experiment, I will extract DNA live from a banana cell. Hey everyone, I am Nilatri sir and today I will be demonstrating an experiment where I will extract DNA from banana. Now in first place, why do we choose banana? The reason is we usually choose plants that have high chromosome number or there are more sets of chromosome. In the market when you see a banana, if it is a seeded banana, more chances are that this is diploid and it has 22 chromosomes. But if you get a seedless banana, there are higher chances that it is triploid and produced by some different technique and its chromosome number turns out to be 33. So firstly, my aim is to extract DNA from it. Now say this is a plant cell, a banana cell. This is the nucleus and inside nucleus we know there is DNA, there is RNA and there is protein. Because we know see, if this is DNA, it is bound to some proteins called histone proteins. These are histone proteins. So this DNA makes up around 45%. RNA is around 10% and protein is around 45% in this cell. Second thing is, this is say a lysosome and this is a vacuole. Now why I have drawn them here because they usually have enzymes like RNAase that digests the RNA. In laboratory setup, we usually use RNAs, but here my I will create environment as such that the RNA will be digested. Why? I will show you here in this board. So now let's start this experiment. Here I have taken this papaya extract. This is uh, the extract that I have taken from papaya. The main purpose of this extract is I have to remove the protein. So if I remove the protein from here, I would need protein digesting enzyme. Papaya contains something called pepain that digests the protein. Secondly, if I uh, demonstrate in a different way, remember if you need DNA, you digest everything and keep the DNA intact. Digest every content like cell wall, cell membrane, that is the lipids, proteins, but don't digest the DNA. This will be our prime approach. So here I have taken this papaya extract that contains something called pepain. Now pepain act as protease and protease will digest the protein. I have taken a banana. I will cut it into fine pieces and then I will eventually perform the procedure. First, if I see, I start with this thing, the papaya extract. I am putting it in a beaker. Now for this I will use a strainer and the strainer with a tissue paper because I need the pepain from it. So I will gently put them into the tissue and eventually with the help of strainer the pepain should pass into the beaker and will get collected. So we have extracted pepain that is the source of protease activity. Now we will continue our experiment with the banana, the hero of today's experiment you can say. So firstly I peel off this banana and I will cut it into very small pieces. Now I will cut it into very very thin pieces as I said and I will collect it in something called, I am just demonstrating it later, rightly let me just cut it into very small pieces because I have to make a paste so I have to be very careful that the pieces don't usually be thick. So this is the finely cut banana and now I will grind it with this. So this entire apparatus this is called a pastel and a mortar. While we break it we assume that the cell wall is being digested. I mean when we are just grinding the banana we assume that this cell wall is been digested by mechanical force. So let's continue this grinding. So now our paste or you can say the banana extract solution is ready. Now I will put it in a beaker. So for that I will use a funnel. This is a funnel where we are going to put this extract. Again let me use this strainer and a solution. 
so here our banana extract solution is finally ready i am adding a bit of non iodized salt the purpose of it is very simple it will accelerate this process it helps in you know clumping of dna so that we can get more amount of dna right up here so we have added this non iodized salt and we will mix it well at least by this time we should have a cell in which the cell wall is absent now our next task is to digest the cell membrane and we know membrane is made up of lipid bilayer with some protein so for digesting the lipid we usually use lipase enzyme in lab conditions but instead of it i will use a detergent and for detergent for this experiment i am use, using a dish washing soap so when i put this dish washing soap a few drops here i would expect that the cell membrane as well as the nuclear membrane would be digested i mean any membrane the membrane of lysosome the membrane of uh, if, as you can see the membrane of lysosome the membrane of vacuole they are single membrane the nuclei is double membrane they will all be digested the nuclear membrane will be digested so as soon as the nuclear membrane is digested you get dna rna and we have already digested the protein by using pepin i mean we will digest the protein by using pepin that you have extracted right here now since this membranes have ruptured the rnas comes into play the rnas from here now enters right up here and digests the rna maybe the entire amount of rna is not digested but we will take it into consideration that most of the rna is lost so as soon as we add this pepin it will digest the protein as well now in this solution you see there is mechanically grinded banana leaf solution where cell wall is absent we have used dish washing soap due to which the membranes have broken and finally we are left with some protein so for that we have used the pepain that we have originally extracted from the papaya so this is the solution now i will place it in a test tube to do the last step this is a test tube i am adding the solution made into it so this is the solution that we have prepared for a long long time now our purpose is to add chilled ethanol when we add chilled ethanol remember we have to do it in a slanting position such that the ethanol do not mix it rather helps to separate out the dna so let me place this test tube apparently in a test tube holder at first this is the very chilled ethanol this ethanol will do the last step now this is 99% ethanol or you can say this is absolute ethanol we will use it for our last step we cannot directly add ethanol here so we will use the dropper to do this step so here in this test tube we have taken some amount of ethanol we will add this ethanol into the adjacent test tube so this was our solution we have hold it tight to it through a test tube holder now we will place this it in a slanting position and with the help of a dropper we will collect the ethanol and place it in a slanting position like this if you can see here there is a slant that where certain fiber like structures are visible i will place a photo right here you can see these are actually the dna strands if we see it in a microscope we will maybe we will find some air bubbles and besides which there are strings of dna this is how actual strings of dna looks like it mostly resembles if the amount of dna was much higher it would resemble the smoke that usually see you see from a burning incense stick the process of adding this is called spooling where the dna is extracted from the medium the all other cellular components they separate and the dna separate and this process as i said is called spooling 
and the word spooling you might have heard in biotechnology chapter of class 12. So this was all about extraction of DNA. Hope you had a great time during this experiment. So we were almost done. We were just uh, wrapping up things. I just wanted to show that uh, if you, I could show it by zooming in that if you could see this DNA. This is so proper extracted now. And this was what I was talking about. I have shown you this image, but this is how it looks like. This is the DNA.